There are some all time teams in Miami University history. Think about it. Wally Zerbiat, Sweet 16 mm. team. Ben Roethlisberger took Miami football to top 10. The this close to winning the national championship hockey team. Oh, it still hurts. Mm. Some great individuals, too. Yeah, and just this weekend, Miami unveiled its statue to Sean McVay, the youngest Super Bowl winning head coach. He is a Miami grad. So same weekend, same campus, Miami honored this team behind us. 50 years since they did something they still tell stories about. It's the funny thing about old friends telling old stories. <laughs> Somehow, with time, those stories become even funnier. They're a fun group. Former teammates, 50 years since they planted their flag as champions of the Mid-American Conference. Shoulder to shoulder, this group still stands as one of the best in Miami baseball history, maybe the best, and that is their story. The nice thing about this crew, you know, usually athletes, as they get older, they get better. We don't have to do that. We were good to begin with. It's right there in the black and white of the team picture. The Miami Diamond Men, 1973 MAC champions. A roster loaded with all conference and all American ball players with an all time head coach. And you now call him by his first name, or is he still coach? He's coach. <laughs> He's coach. <laughs> Bud Middle took a program with head scratching facilities and fought to make them champions. My job is to get them ready to win a championship. And if we don't win a championship, I failed as a coach. And that's the way I looked at it. Now this particular year, I didn't fail. They did it. The facility wasn't very good. Uh, his budget was minimal. And so we, all we had, we had coach at all. We had coach Jersa and we had each other. What they have now are keepsakes of a signature season. The wooden bat pictures and newspaper clippings of Miami's first ever conference baseball championship. A season that would extend its schedule to the program's first ever NCAA tournament. What does that ring mean to you? Oh. You, know, you always say it's all about the ring. The first one's the toughest, you know, that first title and that Miami hadn't won one. And and for the seniors, it was our last shot. And so for me, I look at this and I think of coach and I think of all those guys over there. And I, I can't imagine my life without them. We got along, encouraged each other, loved each other, really, and still do. 14th in the country. Honored by Miami on the 50th anniversary of their championship season, this group did it right. They watched baseball, they took pictures, and they told stories. The story of their school's first championship baseball season with the added color of 50 years of memories. What I was interested in, what do they do after baseball? What did they do with the rest of their lives? Did they learn the lessons that needed to be learned? You're gonna to have to face adversity. You can't feel sorry for yourself. You gotta move on and take on the challenge. I'm so proud of the guys and what they've done after they got out of here. That's my reward, my biggest reward. The baseball was just a means of getting there. Because you still talk like a coach. I'll always be talking like a coach. I, that's just who I am. So that Miami team finished top 15 in the country wow. in 1973. And that team still holds the school record for lowest team ERA 2.07 as a team. Mm. Bud Middall later coached at Michigan. Think about these names he coached there. Barry Larkin, Chris Sabo, Hal Morris. That's almost the entire infield of the Reds. 1990 World Series championship team. Congratulations. 50 years to that squad.